Hi, this is Dawn of the James Kennedy Public Library. In April of 2020, the library switched to a new system called Atrium. At that time, I created the video that follows as a tutorial for how to use the new online catalog. So we are reposting this video for National Library Week, and I hope that it will help you to understand how the system works a little bit better and help you find books. And as always, let the staff know at the library if you have any questions. We are happy to help you. Thank you. Hi, this is Donna at the James Kennedy Library, and I'm here to do a short tutorial video on how to use our new online catalog. Back at the beginning of April, we switched to a new system called Atrium, and we have a new catalog uh, with a lot more functionality than our last one. And so I want to do a short video for you on how to navigate the new catalog and hopefully get the best use out of it. So I'm going to share my screen. So you would log on to um, Google um, or Firefox. Um, which are the two recommended uh, browsers, and you're going to go up to the library website, um, which is dietersville.lib.ia.us. That part has not changed. So this is our new website, and if you click here on catalog search, it will take you into our new catalog. So the first thing I want to mention is um, this great feature called What's New, which is right here. Um, as we catalog items and add them to the collection every week, um, they show up here on this bar. And uh, it keeps 30 days worth of items. So if you see something scroll by that looks interesting, you can put your mouse over it and I'll give you a quick little description. Um, and it'll pause. Um, you can also uh, double click it to open it for more information. So that's a great uh, new little tool so you can see what is uh, being added to the collection. We also have this featured box where the system randomly selects an item uh, to feature and it changes frequently. Um, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. So um, but hopefully maybe it'll show you something that you hadn't thought of that looks interesting. So first thing you want to do is if you want to do a search, um, you can do a search here in the middle or you can do a search up here in the top left. Either box is fine. So say you want to search on dogs. I want to type in dogs and you can either hit enter or go. So now you'll see, uh, it tells you right here, 1,796 items came up. It's a lot of items. So to help you narrow down what you want, you can come down this left side and there's these filters um, that will help you drill down to get more specific um, and to narrow the results for you. So say you know that you want um, a DVD about dogs, so then you would click DVD and it'll filter out everything that's not a DVD. And then you can say, do you want a children's DVD, an adult DVD, or a young adult DVD? So we're gonna say we want a young adult DVD. And so now we went from 1,700 items to 10. Um, and so then you can click here. So say this is it because of Winn-Dixie. Immediately you can see right here in the corner if it's checked in or checked out, um, here's the call number, the library call number. Um, you can just click on the title and you can get the title, what age it's for, you get your summary, all your subjects. Um, if you go to the details tab right up here across the top, you just get more information. Like it tells you that this was based on a novel, how long the movie is. And then if you go to the holdings tab, it will tell you again that it was in like it did on the first one. And it'll show you that it's in the main library and um, the barcode number and the call number. So for those of you that know, like to use the call numbers to find things, you would know how to do that. So when you're all done, you can hit OK. So it's a real easy way. Hopefully this new functionality down the left will help you to um, find things a little bit easier 
Um, we'll do another search for you. Let's do presidents. So you can kind of see it again. So again, 794. And so say you want an audio book, click on that. And then you want it to be an adult audio book, click on that. See, now we're down to 53. So the other thing you can do here is sort by. It automatically sorts by relevance, so it decides if something relates to the topic you're searching for. But you can decide if you want to search it by title or by author or by the copyright or the call number, which is how it is shelved in the library. So let's search by title. Just click it and it'll automatically re-sort for you. Um, so here we go. And you can see that we three sorted, and so now we've got um, a different a different way to scroll through. And again, so say the Butler is the one you were looking for by Will Haygood. Just click on that, and again, here's all your information. Check the holdings. You can see that it's checked in. So I hope that will make searching a little bit easier for you. Um, another great thing you can do is now you can access your own account with the library uh, through this uh, catalog. So, and the way you do that is by using the barcode number on the back of your library card. If you do not have that number, we can get it for you. So the great thing is you would um, go ahead and log in, oops, and I was already logged in, so let me log off. So then you just click log on, and it's gonna ask you to type in your, the barcode uh, behind uh, your, your library card, and that is going to be your login and your password, both. So, so this is my personal account and the first thing that comes up is it says it shows everything you have on hold so this new system uses the word reserves which is a hold so it'll show you everything that you have on hold um, then the checked out tab will show you everything that you have checked out and the nice thing here is if you want to renew those items you just check the little box next to the title, and then come up here and click Renew. As long as the item is not overdue, and as long as no one has put a reserve or hold on it, the system will allow you to renew it yourself. If you have any fines, which we are a fine-free library, we'd list here. Um, this is your account information. So this would be your um, email and your phone number, in which case you can go in and make changes. If either of those things change and you need to update us, you can go in and change that yourself. The other nice thing about uh, having logging in and using your account, there's two things actually. The first I want to talk about is it's called book bag. So if you'll see up here, it's this temporary book bag. And the number five indicates that I have five items in my book bag. Book bag is basically a watch list. So as you are searching for things in the catalog, if you see something that looks interesting, you can tell it to add it to your book bag and the book bag will hold it so that you can go back later and look at that item. Now let me clarify, that book bag is private, so the library staff does not see it, so um, it, does, it does not put the item on reserve for you by putting it in the book bag. It only, the book bag is purely for your use. So let me show you. So if we go back to our dogs, um, so say this DVD happened to pass me by and I thought, oh, that looked interesting, so I pull it up. And over here on the right, you can add to book bag. And then just hit OK. So then now, when I go into my book bag, you can see the number's gone up to six. Dog has been added. 
And again, until you go through the process of adding or deleting, um, there will be nothing in your book bag. But then as you find things, so I can, I can show you Midnight at Blackbird Cafe. I currently have it checked out. So I'm going to check the little box next to the title. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to say that I want to remove it. And then now it is off my list. So I hope book bag will be a great way as you find things to keep track of them. Um, and then you can remove them out as you check them out or decide that you don't want them again. The other great thing you can do is you can place things on hold. And by placing them on hold, the staff is automatically notified. So um, you can do it from the comfort of your own home. So now if you are in your book bag, you can decide you want to put something on hold. So say I've decided that I want to put this um, DVD called The Chaperone on hold that I had been sitting in my book bag. Again, you go up here to the top right and you can put hit reserve. And since I checked the little box, hit reserve, number of items to reserve one, because that's all I checked, hit yes, one item reserved successfully. Another way is, again, if you are doing a search on dogs, we'll go back to dogs, and I say, this is the book I want. I want this book, Dogs by Emily Gravitt. So again, click on it. You can see the information and you can go to reserve. Reserve. And then it's gonna ask you to confirm again and hit reserve. And it says, please confirm. But before you confirm, it'll tell you where you are in line for the book and hit okay. And then your item has been reserved successfully, so you can go ahead and close it and close out of here. So finally, the last thing I wanted to show you is that uh, you can write a review and we will post it to the site. All reviews are uh, reviewed by staff uh, to make sure that they are appropriate. Um, um, but it is a great way to share what you did or didn't like about a book and as a another person looking things up to get ideas. So the way you can do that is, we'll say you read this book, Dogs, by Jean Coppendale. Click it open. Again, if you go back to the right, there's a write a review. You just click review, and I'll ask you to rate it on a scale of uh, one, two, three, of one to five, so we'll say that it was a four, and then you can type what it was that you liked about this review. And reviews can be short, they can be long, um, but they're certainly helpful. So I encourage you to do that, and um, we'll just say this book was amazing, fun, adventure. And then you save it. Your review is successfully completed and then you can just click go back. And then the review will be sent to staff to review and then if we approve it then the review will be attached to the book and as patrons go to look at that book we'll see that there is a review there and they'll be able to read it. So I hope that this video has helped you understand our new catalog a little bit better. Um, I hope it's given you some great tips for how to navigate and find what you're looking for better. Um, and if you have more questions, please contact the staff. We are happy to help you. All right? Thank you.